Choosing the right school for your child is a difficult choice. Now more than ever, there are many, many options open to parents. Today we're going to cover one of those options, magnet schools, so stay tuned for more info. Before we jump into it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Mash the bell icon and you'll get notified when we post new content. Also, if you want to hear more about the challenges faced by gifted and talented students, check out this TinnyTube video we posted earlier. So what exactly is a magnet school? Most likely you live near a magnet school and you probably have heard the term before, but you may not know what it is. As the name suggests, magnet schools are designed to attract good students. They have a specialized curriculum of some sort and they're trying to work with above average students. Getting into magnet schools can be competitive. A lot of them will have a testing criteria as well as a lottery system. So usually students will have to take a test of some sort to qualify for entry, which may have a high bar to begin with. And then they'll be in a lottery system, so they're not even guaranteed if they do well on the test of getting into the school. But fortunately, the lottery system gives all students an equal shot at getting into these highly competitive schools. The lottery system puts everyone on an even playing field, so at least you have an equal chance of getting in if you've done well on the test. There are many types of magnet schools out there. Uh, they tend to focus on a specific area like STEM, fine arts, foreign language, or even medical science. And going to one of these prestigious magnet schools can help you improve your academic performance and get into better colleges after, after school. So one question you may have is how much does a magnet school cost? Well, that's the good news. Magnet schools are actually part of our public school system, which means they're gonna be free to parents. Now they may be a fair distance away from you, which would be one of the cons. The other cons is they are highly competitive to get in. And they might have a very low acceptance rate for students that apply, uh, their acceptance rate could be lower than even private schools. It's a highly competitive school with students from all so socioeconomic classes that apply. So how do you find a magnet school? Well, the best place to start is really going to be your local school district. If there is a magnet school in your local school district, that information should be on the district website. So you can start there to try to identify the schools in your area. Also, there is an online tool called schoolchoiceweek.com. On that page, you can enter your zip code and you can search by magnet schools and it'll show you a map with all the magnet schools in your area. On the topic of distance, mapping out how far you are to the school that you're identifying is an important consideration. Uh, they can be a long way and they may have a bus route. You might not have to drive uh, your student to school, but the bus routes could be really long if they have a lot of pickups on the way from a lot of different areas of town. So really think about the, the route to school uh, and don't use your summer time to gauge how long it will be. When school starts, traffic is really going to pick up and that time to school is going to be longer than the summer months. Magnet schools are a great choice if you're trying to get a quality education for your child. Uh, they, their specialties are often quite interesting for students and they help students focus and get a really quality education. If you're targeting magnet school though, make sure to have a backup plan as admission is not guaranteed. Make sure to know what a good plan B is if you don't get into your magnet school of choice. With that being said, I'd like to thank you for tuning in to today's episode of TennyTube. If you liked this content, Please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified when we post new content. Thank you and we'll see you on the next one.